Radio France International, you are listening to Paris Live. James Mahomes here with a summary of today's main stories. Four tourists cycling through Tajikistan have been killed when a driver rams them with his car before attacking them with knives, along with the other passengers. The Islamic State group has claimed to be attacked. Two Americans, a Swiss and a Dutch citizen, were run down on Sunday while on a popular cycle route in the Zangara district, about 100 kilometers south of the capital, Dushanbe. Female tourists were also injured. In Afghanistan this morning, a roadside bomb has killed at least eight people aboard a Kabul-bound passenger bus in the western Shara province. Around 40 were wounded, mostly women and children. A police spokesman said the device was planted by the Taliban and had been intended to hit security forces. U.S. President Donald Trump has said he wouldn't hesitate to meet the Iranian President Hassan Rouhani without precondition. It's a stark shift in tone and comes as Washington and Tehran have wrapped up their rhetoric, ramped up their rhetoric rather, following Trump's withdrawal from the Iran nuclear deal. The White House is set to begin uh, reimposing sanctions on Tehran next month. An advisor to President Rouhani said any talks with the U.S. have to start with reducing hostility and a return to the nuclear deal. U.S. intelligence agencies say that North Korea is building a new missile based on recent satellite images and other new evidence. A report from the Washington Post cites officials the same country appeared to be developing a liquid-fueled intercontinental ballistic missile. This comes just weeks after President Trump's summit with the North leader Kim Jong-un in Singapore. Following the historic meeting, Trump had declared that Pyongyang was no longer a nuclear threat. French prosecutors have opened a probe into a new probe into the actions of a top security aide to President Emmanuel Macron, who allegedly roughed up two May Day protesters hours before a violent incident for which she's already been charged. Two youths, aged 23 and 24, lodged a complaint alleging that Alexandre Benalat, the co-accused and co-accused Vincent Trasse, a security agent employed by Macron's centrist El Ariane party, manhandled them in a central park in Paris. An ally was caught on video hitting a protester and wrestling another to the ground later in the day while wearing a police helmet and armbands while he was off guard. He, the 26-year-old Benalla, dismissed the new allegations in an interview in a period that appeared in Sunday in the uh, Journal du Dimanche Weekly, saying he was at the earlier protest as an observer. Finally, more than 500 hikers and their guides have been successfully evacuated from an Indonesian volcano after a deadly earthquake triggered land slides that chucks them on the mountain.